Well, what a week it's been. Um, not a big one for politics, but uh, we have a new PM. The last one only lasted 44 days, I think. Bit of a record, I believe. But um, Mr. Sunak's got a big job ahead of him because there's, uh, there's a lot going on and uh, it's tough times ahead. And I think now we just need somebody who's really going to take the bull by the horns and make a bit of a big difference because... Um, it's not going on, you know. Like this, touch on some of the mortgages at the moment because that's a, that's a big one that we're hearing a lot about, uh, you know, at the moment. Mortgage rates are still on the rise. There's been a bit of a leveling out of the playing field at the moment, but there's still talks of the Bank of England potentially raising the base rate by another 0.75 before Christmas um, to get it to towards three percent. You know, that's uh, that's a big rate, big hike. You know, we've been used to extremely low interest rates and I think we just got to get used to that's what time is going to be like now. I know everyone's upset and going to get really, really annoyed, but we've had such really good times and they were never going to last. I think we should have all been realistic with ourselves and, you know, we, we've, we're in this sort of wave of low interest rates, but, but they've gone. You know, I don't think they've gone forever. I just don't think we're going to see the rates of the below 1% or the really low 1% coming back. Well, not not for a long time anyway. But do I think it's going to get worse? Uh, I think things will get a little bit worse before they get better. I think it's unfortunate if you're having to take a mortgage or refinance over the next sort of nine months. You're having a little bit of a raw deal because it's a little bit uncertain at the moment. And we're seeing that in the lenders. You know, the lenders processing times are getting worse you know some lenders are 30 working days and then, then they'll ask you for another document and it goes back in the queue for another 15 to 20 working days before they look at it and then they're sadly drip feeding you information i think they're just trying to buy themselves a little bit of time i do wonder though who is buying all the properties at the moment because you speak to a state agent solicitors and they're starting to dry up so whether these lenders just have a huge backlog i'm not sure but now is the time to actually take some professional advice when it comes to mortgages. And now is not the time to go on to money supermarkets, etc., to try and find a deal for yourself because there's just so much noise out there at the moment. And one of the big exposures of noise at the moment is Mr. Martin Lewis as well. You know, he I know he's trying to help, but he is giving a lot of advice out there which he's not qualified to give, which when you look in the depths of it. Sandy doesn't really know what he's talking about. You need to come and see a professional. Find the mortgage broker because that's what we're there to do. There to do is to find you the best deal. Now, there's a lot of noise about people taking five-year fix at the moment. Now, albeit that might be right for a lot of people, but you need to consider your options because there are shorter-term fixed rates and there are tracker rates, which are actually a lot lower than the two-year fix and the two-year and the five-year fixed options so is it right for you a tracker or a discounted rate you know these are generally rates that can fluctuate you know the discounted rate is discounted off the lender's standard variable rate and a tracker tracks the bank of england base rate you know we're seeing some trackers which are sitting sort of 0.7 above the base rate so you're getting a pay rate of less than three percent at the moment which is uh, which is actually a really good rate considering your five-year fix and two-year fix are pushing towards the six percent mark but it may not be right for you know how do i think the market's going to kind of turn out well i don't have a crystal ball this is a crystal ball that's the reason it's in the uh, picture and uh, i use this a lot when i kind of speak to clients to say that actually i don't have a crystal ball but i have a theory everyone thinks that the interest rates going to keep going and going and going and we're going to be in this state of potentially double digit uh, interest rates. I don't think we are. I I don't think we're going to go much above five percent if we do, because sadly the country will go into recession if we're not already heading that way anyway. But the interest rates, I don't think, go much past five percent. And the reason I kind of say that is I just don't think the country can cope with it because that means people stuck on standard variable rates who are locked in and can't get out of mortgages because maybe they still are in an element of negative equity from kind of the past or they maybe in a financial situation they can't get a new mortgage so they're stuck on their standard variable rate with their lender 
which means that that is going to be affected by the Bank of England base rate. So therefore, you'll have a huge wave of bankruptcies and houses being repossessed, which the country and the government are not going to want to have. So I think interest rates will keep creeping up, but I think at some point they'll plateau. And then if, as and when we're thrust into a potential recession, um, these interest rates will come down. And I think you'll find mortgage rates will probably settle somewhere around about the late twos, early threes. I think that's where we'll kind of see it for quite a long period. But like I say, I don't have a crystal ball, but that's more so a theory on where I think it's going. So that's why I think you need to consider all your options and not just jump into a five or a 10-year or seven-year fixed because banks are offering those as their lowest options at the moment. A 10, seven, and five-year fixed seems to be the lowest rate a lot of the banks, building societies, and lenders out there are offering. Now, banks are not stupid. Some people might think they are, but they're not stupid. So I think they have a bit of a theory in the fact that if they can use the panic in the market at the moment about interest rates, they can push people down the lines of taking a five, seven, and 10 year fix, knowing full well that they're going to be locked in. And as interest rates come down, the swap rates, which is the money that's swapped around the banks, which is what the five and seven year and 10 year fixed rates have been based on at the moment, if they, they come down, therefore the profit they're going to have is going to be huge and people will be tied in these for a long time. So I think they're being quite clever. I might be wrong. Like I said, don't have a crystal ball. I might be wrong, but I don't think banks are being stupid. I think there's a reason why they're touting the longer term fixed rate mortgages. So it's worth speaking to a broker and actually looking at all the scenarios. You know, we we will look at trackers and discounts with our clients and explain the difference and look at the, the potential pluses and minuses. Because if you're on a 3% rate on a tracker or discounted and the fixed option is 2.5% higher, you've got to look at thinking, well, how far is the base rate going to move before I'm actually worse off than if I stayed on a fixed rate? So it's taking all those into account. See, I'm not giving you any advice here. You need to go and see a broker like ourselves or someone else who's a mortgage broker to see what the best options are for you. Now, we actually, on a side note, have a mortgage course, which is available at the moment, and we'll link to that in the description. And this course is totally free to people at the moment. Um, it's a course that helps anyone who's looking to buy, refinance, or anything to do with buying a house or investments. This short course, which is made up of very short videos, lots of downloads, lots of things that will help you, fully informative on our Sanctuary Educate platform. And we've got lots more courses coming. But that's one to kind of take into account. Uh, but that's my theory on the kind of mortgages and the interest rates at the moment. There's, there's a big job ahead for the government. Um, but I think at some point it's going to level itself out. It's just an unfortunate time if you're remortgaging now that you're going to be in this bit of a difficult area where rates are all up in the air. Lenders don't really know what to do. And it's going to be a tough time. But just seek some professional advice. And that isn't from somebody who doesn't advise clients who may be a qualified mortgage broker or a financial advisor, but actually doesn't advise clients anymore. Don't listen to those because they've been out of touch and out of the market. You need to see someone who's actively working with clients and actively doing the job. So there we go. So that's a bit about the mortgages. Yeah.